Today, I have a very important video to share with you. A very important tier list video. I'm not saying that I am the most qualified person to be making a Stardew Valley tier list, but I am also saying that I am the most qualified person to be making a Stardew Valley tier list. This is a video that you should take with a grain of salt. Take this video with a grain of salt and put it in your pocket and sit on it. Listen, if this intro isn't telling you how qualified I am to be making this video, I don't know what will. I'm gonna be shitting on a lot of characters, so it's just kinda- it's just for fun. We're just here for fun, we're here to chill and just have a good old time. With that being said, let me introduce the tiers. So starting at the top, we got Yoba tier. This is the god tier level, the god tier level of the starter universe. These are people who are just so immaculate that you should bow down to them every time that you are in their presence. Next one is amazing, brilliant, talented, spectacular. This tier is for those who aren't god level, but are, are second hand to that. Like, they could be a god if they were born just with a little tweak. Next one. Oh, go, 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 no down, no down, no down. So these characters, they're good, but they're not great, but they're also not in the next tier, which is, uh, it's specifically three question marks. I don't know who you are. You're not good enough. <laughs> it sounds mean, but it's true. You're just not good enough. And then our last tier is just move out. Like, please leave Pelican Town. Nobody wants you here. So let's start. <sighs> Abigail. You can't go wrong with Abigail. I think we all know without hesitation she's just Yoba tier. She is not only the best marriage candidate, but she is the best character in this game. She is the character that ignited my love for women. <laughs> The reason why Abigail is in Yoba tier. Let me let me let me break it down for you. Abigail has a great story. You first meet her and she isn't unnecessarily mean or annoying. She keeps to herself, but she's not afraid to be expressive. She has clear interest and a story about being adventurous, which is especially interesting because her parents are very like standard kind of country folk. While she wants to know about monsters and ghosts, she is the absolute gamer girlfriend and most of the reason why she belongs in the yoba tier is because i am a hardcore thoroughbred simp that's all i gotta say about her she's perfect next question alex i understand why people like him i get it he's a himbo i hear you i hear you i do my ears are wide open for your your simping of alex however in my playthroughs of this game i don't think i ever really talk to him. I'm gonna say for now, he should go in the cool, 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 no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. No, you know what? I'm gonna object to what I just, literally just said. I think that I'm gonna put him in the question marks because like the only good thing about him is that he like sells ice cream in the summer. That's his only valuable asset to my gameplay. Next, this is the bouncer, right? So this guy, I mean, he's just shady looking. I don't know, like he, I literally have probably seen him once in the game and I don't even know who he is. So that being said, amazing. Next, Caroline. I literally don't care about her. I'm, I think I'm gonna have to put her in uh, with Alex. Clint. This fucking bastard. I mean, we know where he's gonna go. First of all, he closes his store at like 4, 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. In no one's game are they only in the mines until 4 p.m. This dude should have like all hours. Also, he takes so long to make us tools and when he doesn't have a life. Like he literally does nothing. The only thing he does is stalk Emily, which is another reason why he needs to move the fuck out of Pelican Town. I could go on about this man. This man deserves nothing get out of town bye dimitri he's fine but the fact that like our first scene with meru he makes us feel like you don't get with my daughter if you get my daughter i swear i'm gonna come after you and shove a, a tube up your ass and <laughs> suck out your soul and use it and test in my lab he just gives me that weird like misogynistic father vibe even though he seems like a cool dude I i'm gonna put him i'm gonna put him in question mark the only thing he does for me is fix our like cave on the farm that's the only valid thing that he does i'm gonna say he's better than caroline but he's not better than alex for sure next we got our dwarf friend just because he's so cute don't ask i don't know why oh boy oh boy our next candidate Oh man, this is gonna be fun. Buckle up. If you have seen my other starting videos, you know how I feel about this man. You know how I feel about this man. And this man here, this man called Elliot, deserves his own tier 
just for how fucking awful he is. This man makes me want to hurl myself off a building. Elliot is the worst marriage candidate, the worst person in town, worse than Clint, just because he thinks he's so cool. He thinks he's all like romance and shit. He just cares about himself. He lives in a shack on the beach doesn't talk to anybody keeps to himself which okay fair enough like same like i would isolate myself too he just something about him just makes me furious i mean just look at his face like his smirk like don't fucking side eye me like that i know you're judging me and i know you're gonna write me as a character in your book and i know that i'm gonna be the villain and that pisses me off and you know you know that he would mansplain the shit out of you he would go to a party about his book and he'd be like yes very well i think that this novel is very special because blah 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 shut the fuck up Elliot nobody wants to hear you talk he probably has sand in his butt cheeks like I don't know why that came to mind but that I, I just get that vibe Emily Emily is a sweetheart Emily is a little bit out there but we love her for it she's cool 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 no doubt no doubt I'm gonna put her up ahead of the door she's good I like her but not enough to talk about her any longer. Evelyn. Evelyn is beautiful. She is the grandma that we all needed and deserve. And for that, I'm putting her in amazing, brilliant, talented, and spectacular. Because she gives you cookies. Like, what else is there to want? And I'm gonna put her, I'm gonna put her ahead of the bouncer. I know, I know that's controversial, but it must be done. And right next to her, her hubby, George. George is probably the only person in town that is honest. He tells you straight up. He tells everything straight up because what else is he gonna do? He's about to die, probably. He's an old man. He sits in front of the TV all day, same. He is cranky, same. He complains about everything, same. I, for that, I'm gonna say he's he's amazing, brilliant, talented, and spectacular. Gil, he is... I'm not a fan of Gil. This guy is the one who sits in the chair at the, the Adventurer's Guild. He just sits there all day. I don't know what else he does. Like, I feel like he's just, like, dead. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna put him in the question mark. I, I don't think he should move out because I frankly I think if he did move out of that chair he would crumble to pieces but I, I'm gonna put him in the uh I don't even remember who you are like I literally didn't know who that is this is the governor I don't really care we got our grandpa's spirit I mean this man judges me I feel like I should put him in the yoba tier but it's holding me back just because like what does he help me with I'm honestly feeling like grandpa should go here behind Evelyn I'd rather have cookies from Evelyn than whatever the fuck grandpa gave me next is gunther gunther is the most stylish person in this entire game he is the sexiest villager <laughs> villager in stardew valley he is so cool and all he does is stay in the museum all the time and you he gives you stuff too like you give him stuff and he it's a mutual relationship he is honestly so cool and like even his picture like look at him tipping his hat and i'm gonna put him here amazing brilliant talented spectacular because he truly is he truly deserves that role gus i have mixed feelings because first thing he has a great mustache i will say that but i feel like he should do more. He should have more of a role in my life in this game. He owns the tavern, but like, where is my benefit from that other than having to pay him? Like, where's all that money going for the tavern? Also, he is the one that has Journey to the Prairie King in his tavern, and that is, that is harmful. Because of the Journey to the Prairie King and not giving me free food, I'm gonna say that he is in between Caroline and Dimitri. I know, it's, I know, this is rough. All right, Haley, she would have bullied me in high school 100%, but I also want her to. Like, I want her to step on me. She is a little rude, but it, she gives me Regina George vibes, and yes, I am one of those people who wants Regina George to call me ugly. Like, I want her to <laughs> I, I want her to bully me and for that she's going an amazing brilliant talented spectacular because she's just one of a kind one of a kind moi beautiful harvey i'm gonna tell you right now harvey looks like a pedophile and i'm not afraid to say it and for that i'm gonna change my mind because yes he looks like a pedophile but i know he isn't one i think he just has a poor choice in in hair treatment so i'm gonna put him in the question mark near the end because i really just i usually will just for totally forget about his existence so next we got henchman i'm gonna just put him in the question marks jasmine is marnie's niece marnie's daughter marnie's niece and shane's no shane's niece 
Marnie's daughter. I don't know. I don't know what the family tree looks like. She's just like there. I'm thinking I'm gonna put her behind the dwarf. She's fine. She's cool, cool. She's cool. Like, she doesn't do anything. Whatever. Jody is also gonna go in the cool, 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 no doubt, no doubt. And she's gonna go because she invites us to like a family dinner and like one in the first few days of the game. And I just feel like she's sweet. She means well. She's a bit of a Karen, I'd say. But like, aren't we all? Um, this guy, I don't even know his name. Honestly, he wasn't in the game for so long. I just wanted to move out. Next, Krobus. I don't even need to say anything. Yobatir to the max. Leah. I already know. She's amazing, brilliant, talented. I'm gonna put her before Haley just because she's got a better storyline than Haley. Lewis. I don't know where to put Lewis. I feel like he does nothing as mayor. Okay, I'm gonna put him here because he does more than Jasmine, but like, he doesn't do much. Linus. Another one. Yobatir. He teaches you one of the most valuable lessons, and it's not that you shouldn't be materialistic, it's that you should go through your neighbor's garbage cans and find really good shit. He's just a great dude, and I think he deserves Yobatir, and that's that. This man, Marlin, he is another one that doesn't really do much. I think I'm gonna put him in cool, 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 no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. I'm gonna put him before the dwarf, because he does sell- well, no, I'm gonna put him after the dwarf, because he sells you stuff. Like, it's not like- he gives you your first sword, like, yeah, whatever, but, like, he- he doesn't do enough after that. Otherwise, you have to buy it from him and find it yourself. All right, Marnie. This- maybe a very problematic thing to do but i feel like i'm gonna put her in move out because do you know how many times i have gone to her farm and she has not been there do you know how many days i have had to wait to buy my animals fodder and they have starved and nearly died because marnie was off having sex with the mayor girl we all know you're doing it like why don't you stay at your job and then do that at night because we really need you without my farm like she's the only farm she doesn't even produce anything valuable like i do you know what i mean the player produces so much like milk and eggs and makes mayonnaise and shit and she's over here not even at her nine to five selling fodder and for that i feel like she could just move out because i'm the new farmer in town and i'm doing more than she is next is meru meru is one of those people that i i often forget exists because our schedules don't just don't mesh she's always like being smart and i'm over here like uh truffles but i i do like her so i'm gonna put her in cool 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 no doubt no doubt no doubt right after emily i really do like her but i feel like i interact with emily more because emily gives me more stuff which sounds bad but like it's just the truth so this guy i don't even know his name but i just know he's the bad guy he's gonna go in move out i think he's worse than clint but he is in no way worse than elliot i would take having joja and capitalism consume me then have to have a conversation with Elliot. Now we got Mr. Key, Mr. QI. I don't know how to say it, Mr. QI. This guy is a piece of shit because yeah, he's cool and he has cool shit that you can do, but like, it's so hard. Everything he asks for is so hard. I'm gonna put him in cool, 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 but I'm putting him back. Look at his sparkly ass outfit. That is amazing. But also you need to make things easier for me. Pam, Pam is an alcoholic. And while I do think that she improves, I'm gonna say she's worse than the governor. You know what? No, I'll, I'll put her. I'll put her here. She drives the bus and stuff for me, even though that's kind of strange because she's an alcoholic and she's driving a bus, so that's probably not great. But I mean, it's more than what Caroline does for me. Like Caroline doesn't do anything. Penny is so sweet. She's brilliant. She's talented. She's spectacular. But she's not more spectacular than George or Evelyn, so she's going there. Yes, I'm putting her before grandpa because grandpa's dead so what are you what are you gonna do about that grandpa pierre is another one that needs to go fuck himself not opening on wednesdays and not only that everyone says that everyone was like he's not open on wednesdays that's so annoying you know what's even more annoying the fact that he opens at 9 a.m do you realize that you are selling to your biggest customer is a farmer and do you know when this farmer wakes up this farmer wakes up at 6 a.m so you're making your best customer wait three hours just to get seeds and stuff and if i had to wait three hours to get seeds sometimes i don't plant as much as i want which means i don't sell as much to you which means that you're losing money from opening later so what i'm trying to say is pierre you better get your act together and wake up earlier and be open more or you're going bankrupt pierre is just trash 
much. Robin is like Leia, but if Leia was an architect instead of an artist. And because of that, she does more for me than Leia. I'm gonna say she's amazing, brilliant, talented, spectacular. Sam, don't care about him. I literally never talk to him, ever. I'm gonna have to put him here. Oh, how much I wish that we could marry Sandy. She is so amazing and brilliant and talented and spectacular. She is better than Leia, I think. Just because look at her outfit. Like, look at that. She just knows she's great and she should because it's true. For Sebastian, he is another one that I often forget about, but I also think he's cool. I'm gonna put him next to his sister. Because I think that they are both similarly where it's like, I really like them, but I never talk to them. And that's on me. That is on me. Shane, move the fuck out. And I know this is very controversial because Shane is like the worshipped bachelor of Stardew Valley. But this man is so abusive to himself and to others. It's like, I get that you hate yourself and I'm sorry about that, but that doesn't mean you need to hate everyone around you because you're the one putting yourself in this situation and you're the one that's gonna have to get you out of it. Even when you marry this man, it seems like he does nothing. Like he is, he does nothing. I don't care what anyone has to say about it. My mind is made up. I'm gonna say he is just, he's, he's better than Clint and Elliot, but he is not better than Pierre, which is saying something because Pierre's a piece of shit. Shane deserves- he deserves love, but not mine. Less controversial, Vincent. Uh, he's another one. Don't really care about him. I'm gonna put him behind Caroline because what does Vincent do? Nothing. He just stares at me with his beady eyes. Willie is top Yoba tier. Willie is the New Yorker. He is the fisherman. He is my best friend. I'm gonna I'm gonna say he goes above Linus, but not by much. Like they are they are pretty much equal. I feel like they would be really close friends. And our last one is the wizard. This man is a little bit creepy. He is a little skeevy to me. That being said, I still think that he is amazing, brilliant, talented, and spectacular. And I'm gonna put him next to George because they're both kind of like they say they say what they mean. They don't care about what other people think. This is the definitive only valid tier list for Stardew Valley. I think I could agree with this. I mean, I made it, so of course I can agree with it. Let me know what you think down below if you think this list is terrible. Uh, maybe don't tell me because my feelings will be hurt and I might cry. But like, if you tell me anyway, it's fine. Like, I I'll get through the tiers eventually. I think what we've learned is that what really matters is not the tier list, but the friends we made along the way in making it and the friends we made in Stardew Valley. And those friends definitely do not include Elliot because Elliot is a piece of shit asshole scumbag and I hate him with all of my heart.